Star Citizen is a game meant to accommodate a wide variety of players. It has a very wide-reaching appeal to people who want to do a variety of things. From those who want to do piracy, from those who want to do bounty hunting, from those who want to run cargo and be a space trucker, mine rocks, whatever it may be, Star Citizen aims to have a place for you. And in an ideal game, all of these players will somehow coexist. The PvP player who wants to pirate will attack the PvE player who wants to run cargo. The PvE player who wants to run cargo will either hire an escort or, you know, get other bounty hunters after those pirates. They're going to create content in this ecosystem, and that's why it's important to have an economy. But that's a different topic for another video. But these types of players are what drive the game, because in a game like Star Citizen, no matter what people tell you, the players are the content. In any MMO, the players are the content, and they should be the content. And the players typically subscribe to a set of beliefs. And I'm going to use the horseshoe theory here as an example. I'm going to put this on the screen. If you don't know what the horseshoe theory is, Google it, figure it out. But we're going to jump right into this. So, at the center, this is where I personally am for the most part. You have the player who enjoys both PvP and PvE, and they, they tend to acknowledge both. They think both should exist. If you go to the left of this, you have the PvE player. The PvE player, they don't prefer to PvP. They try to avoid it. They understand it's important. They don't look down upon PvPers. They may even employ PvPers for work to uh, do their you know dirty work for them or to protect them. But by and large, they just prefer to PvE. But they might maybe dabble in a little bit of PvP. If you go to the right of that, to the PvP player, same thing but the opposite. They don't really want to run cargo, they don't want to do mining or salvaging. They want to go after other players, whether they are bounty hunters or they are um, pirates, right? They'll, they'll go after people, cargo haulers, they'll do that kind of stuff. So these are like your three, in my opinion, core players that should be catered to and the game that should be balanced around. But let's take a look at the extremes here. So if you go to the far left, you have the Care Bear. The Care Bear believes that everybody above him and to the right is the extreme opposite. They believe they're all sweaty nerds. They do not acknowledge the existence of PvP players. They view all PvP as griefing. They view all piracy as trolling. They will go to the forums, they will make threads, they will cry, they'll complain, they'll report you. They will do all of that. Uh, their preferred method of fighting you is at a game. They will try to appeal to CIG to take action on accounts, etc., etc. We've seen it all. These people are very destructive to the game. And they are usually, I like to call them malicious, malicious care bears. They're very destructive. Now, just because you like to PvE doesn't make you a care bear. Make no mistake, care bear is a pejorative, as is sweaty nerd. So, we've talked enough about the care bear. Let's swing all the way to the right, so you get the sweaty nerd. The sweaty nerd is typically somebody who will only make arguments in favor of their preferred style of play. They are the eternal meta-slave. They will never think outside the box. They will only do what their favorite influencer tells them. Uh, they believe the game should be played their way and their way only, and they view anybody above and to the left of this uh, horseshoe as a wimp, as a baby, as a crybaby, as a care bear, etc., etc. These players will also don the guise of honor and chivalry, typically, but if you were to best them and shoot them down, the mask will come off, they will call you names, they will insult you, they will be otherwise very, quote-unquote, and I hate this word, but they will be toxic towards you in-game. We've seen it all, right? You, you, you shoot some sick nerd now with a size 3 missile from a Talon, and they go on and add a game attack spree. So, the Care Bear and a Sweaty Nerd, they're basically the same. And this is how the horseshoe theory works. These two players, despite being on the opposite end of the horseshoe, are essentially the same. No game should ever appeal to these two types of clowns. Ever. Not at all. These two types of players are the most destructive force in any game. They do not acknowledge or care for the existence of anybody else but them, and the health of the game is not even a... It's a very distant second 
to any concern that they have. The ideal game and the ideal environment will cater towards the PvE center PvP. Those three up there, that's who it will cater towards. I personally have seen this happen in various games. If you cater to just Care Bears, you will create a sterile and safe environment that nobody can really do anything in. There's no danger, there's no meaning, there's no merit to anything because without loss there is no value. The Care Bear does not want loss. They view any challenge as an inconvenience. And if you create that environment, you get a very bland, boring, and sterile game. On the other hand, with the sweaty nerds, they essentially want a hyper-competitive environment for like light fighters and whatever the meta ship of the, I guess at this point, year plus is, like the Gladius. They will argue for balance in favor of their preferred style of play, and any other preferred style of play that you may have is irrelevant and bad or noobish or lame, whatever. They'll come up with whatever. Basically, you play by their rules or you don't play at all. That's what the sweaty nerd wants. And that creates an environment where if you balance around that, everybody's got to fly Gladius, which is, by the way, what we have right now, for the record. Everybody has to fly Gladius or an arrow. Uh, don't spam missiles because that's dishonorable. Uh, blah, 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 wah, 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 cry, cry, cry. All right, that's basically how you can sum them up. So they're both the same. The Care Bear, Sweaty Nerd, they're both the same. So what should we have? Well, we should have a game that ignores those people that focus on the average player. Because in an MMO game, the average player is the majority of your players. And in an MMO, the players are your content. The players are the life of your game. And you want the game to appeal to them. You want the game to cater towards their needs and wants so that they continue to play. The minority of players are typically the Care Bears and the Sweaties, which is why it also makes no sense to appeal to them. If your average player base is enjoying the game and they're coexisting and they're able to dip their toes into PvE or PvP as they see fit, they're much more likely to play the game and they're also much more likely to gravitate towards the center. And the center is where we want our players to be, in my opinion. Because the center acknowledges both, accepts both, and enjoys both. And that's where most of your players typically are. So don't let the forums drive your opinion. Don't let discords drive your opinion. Don't even let me drive your opinion. Form your own, okay? But understand that as this game matures, and there is more content for it, and they add more PvE, PvP content, you're going to see these threads popping up. So to sum this all up, CIG should be focusing on the average player, ignore the 1% of the Care Bears and the 1% of the Sweaties, and make a game that most players can enjoy, regardless of their playstyle.